Uh, from what I heard, it was actually a a, a burial uh, for them because that was their their for the Native American the Indian Americans that was their burial site where they buried their own people. Perhaps that's where a lot of the people that were in that little area right there were Indians that were not at peace with things that maybe occurred. Uh, one of the other guys has I noticed that he had woken up one time, and one of the walls next to the setting of the dorm. He said that he he had just gotten out of bed and he saw a troop of Indians coming up with their horses like towards the wall site. And he got up and he shook his eyes and oh hell no I don't believe this. But he knew that wait a second this is something wrong here. He got up and he kept looking and it all of a sudden it disappeared. And he told us that he saw like a like the Indians walking towards the wall, the direction of the wall. And uh, he freaked out. I was laying down, like I was saying, I was laying down on top of my bed every night. I want to say about 11 o'clock at night. I always had this little habit of getting my little Walkman and, and listening to the ESPN channel station. I love listening to all the sports. As I was just laying down, I, I had laid my back, my head back on my pillow, and all of a sudden I felt the pressure of somebody holding me down. And I looked up and I thought it was my friend who lives right across the other uh, bunk from me. And when I opened my eyes, I go, what the hell? There was no one beating, there was nobody there. And the same thing had just happened to my friend a day before that. He jumped off and I saw him when he jumped off his bed. So he told me the same thing, but he, he actually saw the person running away. It was one of the shadows. So when I opened my eyes, I felt the presence of it just like taking off I didn't get a chance to really completely look back and but I felt the, the actual like a hand hold me down like that and that's when I looked up and there was no one there and that's when I knew these guys weren't mine because there was six a total of six people that actually experienced that 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 shadow people whatever they call it I'm telling you uh yeah when it at first it was my friend Drew he was telling me all this and then he goes yeah man they don't believe us and I looked at him, but I can tell he was in the line because the other guys that were leaving, they, they seen it too. But not everybody has seen it. And he goes, man, I'm in line. It's a trip, man. And it's right here. That's when I noticed that he told me about it. My friend Tony jumped out. I saw when he jumped off his bed. He freaked out. Man. And then that's when the, then the next day it happened to me. And like, wow, I was, caught up. I was really caught off guard with that, you know? Yeah. Yeah, because I had just closed my eyes because... I always had, like I said, I would listen to my radio. I, was, I like closing my eyes. I wasn't asleep or anything. I was just relaxing my eyes because I wear glasses. And all of a sudden, I, I felt the hand just place itself on my actual shoulder. It felt like a big hand, actually. Yeah, like, like a, it was pre like it pressed down on my shoulder because I was leaning straight. And when it pressed down, I, I opened my eye and I really thought it was my neighbor because he always liked playing around. I looked back and there was nobody like a what, but I felt the actual. Like the, uh, you know, like there was somebody actually there that moved along, they took off, and like a trip, they're like, oh hell no, you know, it's just a sudden, like a bam, like a, in a flash, he was gone, but uh, I mean, it's scary, because especially the guys that lived in that other dorm, they actually have seen the movements of the dark shadow going through the wall, and actually seen the eyes, they said it was a red eye, so, and especially when I, I think I saw the, the troops of Indians, coming out from the wall, that, that's pretty scary, you know, I, I didn't get a chance to see that, but I, I just felt it, you know.